Today I want to talk about a trip rollout switch or a flame rollout switch which usually goes hand in hand with your control board blinking an error code and then if you take it off if you take your furnace door off usually there will be a chart that explains that code that's blinking on your control board you can look at it through the sight glass or the codes are explained right on the control board itself but anyway your board will likely be blinking a rollout switch open error code or fault code and typically what this would look like is your blower motor will be running your inducer motor will be running or maybe just the blower motor alone and nothing else is happening so the flame rollout switch is this little guy right here usually it's just a little switch I'll just unplug mine so you can see it that right there is the flame rollout switch and they are manual reset which means that if they ever trip you have to manually reset them that's why there's a little button right on the top of them right there if your flame rollout switch is tripped that means this button will be popped out and if you press on it you press in that will reset it and your furnace will come back on and most furnaces will have multiple flame rollout switches for example I have one here and then I have another one on the other side right here some furnaces will even have three or maybe just one if you have a high efficiency furnace your burner box is generally going to be up on top right here you'll have maybe one on the side and one on the bottom or if you take the cover off sometimes it might even be inside on the bottom of the burner and if you have a flame rollout switch that has tripped unfortunately from what I've seen in the field usually that's a pretty bad sign flame rollout switches don't just trip for no reason the way this works is you know the inducer motor it's pulling a draft so you know the flames kick on it sucks them through the heat exchanger and blows them out the exhaust what happens is for some reason either your heat exchanger is plugged or has a crack or a hole in it and the flames that are supposed to be pulled through are starting to push back a lot of times if you put your hands in front of the burner box or if you have a high efficiency furnace and you pull the cover off and put your hands in front you'll feel some hot air coming backwards towards you or if you're seeing flames that are even rolling backwards or the flame patterns are kind of lazy all over the place that's a pretty bad sign too your flames should be cone shaped and just getting sucked right in so for example let's just look at my furnace here turn the power switch back on I'll take my little retaining bracket off so you can see my flames better okay There goes my igniter. All right, and there goes my flames. I'll take my flashlight away so you can see them. See how the flames are just getting sucked in real nice. And I have a two-stage furnace. This is the low stage. That's why the flames look a little smaller than usual. This is how a normally operating furnace would look like. Now, if you have something going on with your heat exchanger, or maybe something's going on with your exhaust, or like a chimney cap has collapsed, or perhaps a bird built a nest inside of your exhaust pipe, your flames will be kind of rolling out backwards or licking the sides of your whole burner box. That's where these flame rollout switches come in. If for some reason your burner box is getting too hot because the flames are starting, or the heat is starting to come back out, these flame rollouts trip and turn off the gas valve. And if you have a high efficiency furnace with the plastic venting, usually the burner box will be up here. A lot of times, whenever I see a flame rollout switch tripped, the sight glass on that burner box cover, I've seen those things melted off. So if you see any melted plastic, that's a good sign that something's going on with your heat exchanger, either the primary, but most likely the secondary heat exchanger is plugged. And unfortunately, that is usually fatal Replacing a heat exchanger is super expensive, so most people just opt to get a whole new furnace. But if you have a newer furnace, then perhaps you still have warranty on it. I would call the warranty and try to get it fixed through them. And I just want to emphasize that a trip rollout switch, you shouldn't just be resetting the switch all the time. You know, let the furnace run for a couple minutes, wait for it to trip, and then reset it. Because that could be pretty dangerous. If for some reason your furnace is producing a lot of carbon monoxide and that starts leaking out into your house, that could be fatal for you and your family. So do take it seriously and either call somebody out to check it out for you or just get the whole furnace replaced. 
And one last thing I want to mention, if you have a really old furnace that's natural draft, usually you'll have some scoops right here, and those older furnaces will not have an inducer motor. If something's wrong with the chimney, and for some reason the exhaust streams are coming back out through those scoops, that can be really dangerous as well. So I just want to remind you that everybody should have at least one good carbon monoxide detector in their home per code. Really, you should have one on every level within 10 feet of every sleeping space. And according to the fire department, those carbon monoxide detectors should be replaced every five to seven years. Well guys, and that's all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and we'll see you next time. And for those of you that watched this video all the way till the end, I went to my doctor recently, and when I come into the office, I see the doctor, I tell him, Doc, I got great news, man. You know how you often ask for a urine sample or a stool sample? Well, this time I came prepared. I got a stool sample for you ready. And the doctor says, no, 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 that's okay. Let's, uh, let's not take that out. We'll just take a sample here in the office. And I tell him, oh, come on, Doc. I've had this for a couple days. It's already well fermented. Don't you want to see it? And he says, no, no, it's okay. I don't want to see it. We'll get a sample here. Well, and I tell him, all right, all right, I'll take it out myself then if you don't want to take it out. I dump it into my hand and I show the doctor and much to his dismay, he sees the stool sample.